time. Mm -hmm. He was there all the time, waiting patiently in line. God was there all the time. How many know he was there? Amen. He was yeah. there yeah. all the time. Hello, he was there all the time. Waiting patiently Hallelujah. in yes, line. Yes. God was there Oh, yes, Lord. The time. Thank you, Jesus. He Thank was you. there all the time. He was there. I also that I will shake all the time, waiting patiently. God is waiting patiently in line. Thank you, Jesus. And he was there all the time. It was all the hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was there all the time. Amen. God was there. Even when you didn't know he was there, he was there. Amen. Oh, even when you thought you was lost. Amen. He was trying to figure it out. God was there. Amen. When you was hurting. Amen. God was there all the time. Amen. Waiting patiently. Amen. He was just waiting for you to see that he was there, but he was there all the time. He was there. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to have Glory our, to our, God. Our Hallelujah. Baby. Amen. Is going to read the scripture Thank this you. morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You got your scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready for me to go into the script? Go ahead and read it. Okay, amen. Okay, uh, I gotta get the phone. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Then, um, okay, I apologize, guys. Isaiah 43 1 to 7. Now, this is what the Lord says He created you, people of Jacob, He formed you, people of Israel. He says, Don't be afraid because. I have saved you. I called you by name, and you are mine. Yes. Amen. 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 And we just thank God for the reading of his word. And I, I gave her an easier version, amen, <laughs> to read on this morning. So we just thank God. We thank God. I gave her the new, the, not the new living, but the uh, new century version. It reads like plain English. Amen. So we just thank God for her. Uh, and that was, that was Isaiah 43. Amen. So it may not have sound as familiar as normal, but it's still the word of God. So we just thank God amen. for her, her wanting to participate. Amen. And we want to try to make it as easy as we can. Amen. And until the Holy Ghost falls upon her, then we can, we can throw that KJV book right back at her. Amen. <laughs> so we thank amen. God. We're waiting, for, we're waiting for the Holy Ghost to come. Amen. And we believe that he's coming. Amen. So we just thank God. Yeah, How many know it's the Holy Ghost that gives us the interpretation of the scripture? Yeah. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The one that, it opens up those dusts and vows and amen. Yes. <laughs> and, and you don't get tripped up because the Holy Ghost is saying, oh, well, I know what it says because I wrote it, amen. Yes. And the Holy Ghost begins to interpret it, amen. So we just thank God for the reading of his word and um, just yes, for all Lord. that are on the line, amen. We got our sister Shantae on the line this morning and our yes. 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 Latifa on the line on amen. this morning, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. And just amen. for all those that are just visiting with us and we just, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank, thank you, you Lord. Jesus. Amen. Thank and you, God Jesus. is just so good to us. Amen. Even yes. in the midst of all, God is good yes. to us. Amen. So we just thank Amen. God. It is, it is time for the offering. And we have faith temple. No, Hallelujah. we don't get quiet at offering Amen. time. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's offering time. Amen. So 
Oh, we ask that you uh, just get yourself prepared, amen, to, uh, amen. I'm going to put the link in, amen, so that you can give and, you know, give on the website, amen, and um, Faith Temple Church, New Jersey, you have the opportunity to give there, amen, you have the opportunity to mail it in, to drop it off, amen. <laughs> Amen. And if you don't have a, a, a church home, amen, and you don't have somewhere to tithe, amen, you can tithe over here and we will pray over your tithing, amen, until yeah. God gives you a church home. And, 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 and I also want to say this to those of you who are on the line, you know, there, there's some places and clubs and social events and they're not taking new members. We taking new members uh -huh. at Faith Temple. All right. Amen. We want you to just know, Amen, that we're just we're opening amen. it up to those who who want to join. And you know, if you're not a member and you don't feel comfortable joining, you can still give. Nobody is left amen. out of this part of the service, Amen. amen. You can give, and we will be praying over your your finances. And remember, when you give, Amen, we are giving, and it's another form of worship. So just like you, your uh -huh. heart was breaking up while Sister Barbara was singing, amen. Let your heart break up as you take out that credit card, amen, because this is also a part of worship. When you start taking the, the, the money out, amen, you begin to think about yourself just dancing towards the plate, praise God. Lord, I give you what I have, Lord God, because you have given it to me, and I offer the portion back to you, and I give it to you in a form of worship, God, because my love for you it goes Hallelujah. farther than my Amen. substance, God. Father, yes, the things God. that you supply to me, God, I don't get caught up in that, God. Those things belong to you. So we just thank God for offering. Amen. We ask our, our Deacon Gifford, if he would just pray a blessing over the offering and the tithes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now. This bless this offering, Father. This throwing of a seed, Father, by the soul. Let it be a great harvest, Father. Just like it has seasons past, once it's been fall. Let it be a harvest, thank Father. You, a great harvest that come back fourfold, thank Father. In the name of Jesus, bless the ones. You know about tithing also, Father. You said you are reduced to the devour, and that devour, he can be anything, pestilent, anything, he can be more life for us, he can bless us, Father, in the name of oh, Jesus right yeah, now, yeah, just bless your people, let us have a great harvest, so we can just come together and build up your kingdom, Father, in the name of Jesus, be yeah, bless yeah. in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. we thank That's God for on. our deacon, oh, amen, and um, we also want to thank God, we want to say, uh, Dios de bendiga, amen, because we've got our sister Andrea on the line with us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you in Spanish, y'all. Praise God. So we just thank, thank you, God Jesus. for just for having our, our sister Andrea on the line with us. And we welcome, Amen. Amen. We welcome Amen. you. Amen. Amen. And we just thank God. All members are welcome. All non-members are welcome. Amen. Because God's Amen. love is upon you on this morning. So we just thank God. Thank you, and uh, we, we know that we are uh, no service is ever, ever complete without acknowledging the one that God use to start this whole thing amen so we want to take the time out this morning amen to just acknowledge the late reverend doctor bernice jackson on this morning hallelujah 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 amen i'm going to take i'm going to take the privilege and the honor to do it myself on this morning and i just thank god because of the woman of god that, that walked the earth amen and we know that you know sometimes people say oh well don't you know don't glory over over people you know god is the one i'm here to tell you that you need to get in your Bible because uh, Elijah had Elisha, amen, and, and, and Joshua had Moses, and, and, and Jesus had Joseph the carpenter, amen. They all had somebody that they sought to, amen, and we, we thank God that our overseer, she was here on the earth, and she walked the walk, amen. She walked a walk that was amen. pleasing unto the Lord, and many were saved at her hand, amen. Many were saved, amen, and many, many have gone through the church, amen, and started their own ministries, and and, you know, there are some amen. that there's prophets, amen. There's an apostle, Apostle Mickle, amen. Apostles that have come from up under her, amen. And we just thank God. And there's many, many that we may have never even see the fruit of it. Because sometimes, you know, those who are called, like she was called, amen. And those that are called, you just start throwing seeds. You just throw the seed. You know, you don't wait to see the seed pop up every time, amen. But you throw the seeds, amen. 
because you know that God called you, amen. And we just thank God she was, you know, called into the earth to, to walk in love. And I just thank God. I said, if I didn't learn anything else, I learned the balance that she had, amen. And just how she just would go all over into Africa. And, you know, she went on back to the home church, but she never oh, forgot you. about home. She didn't forget amen. about home. Because the yeah. daughter, the granddaughter, and the and the son-in-law, they attest to the love that they that she, they felt. Amen. And that's how you know that God God used her in a mighty way. And that is an example yeah. unto me. Amen. And I'm praying yeah. every day, God, show me how to be as balanced as I can. Yeah. Because yeah. it starts with the home. Amen. Oh, One scripture talks oh, about the, the the bishop. Amen. And then and, and, and let them have. They gotta have something going on in the home first. Amen. The deacons and the bishops. Let them be ruler of their own home first. Amen. Yeah. And just for how she did that well, amen. And we know that because the president of Faith Temple is within her lineage, amen. So we just thank God. And um, you, you can look at some pastors and, and, and some that are in place and their family doesn't want anything to do with their ministry. That is value. That speaks volumes. But that's not in this mm -hmm. case. In this case, we saw that the love, it transcribed not only just to people that she didn't know, but also to those that were right there with her. Amen. So Amen. we just thank God and just taking out. I know I didn't do it justice, but I just thank God. There's nothing that we can say. We learned We learned last year when we was trying to read that obituary. There's nothing that we can say that will ever fulfill it all. Amen. <laughs> there's not Amen. enough paper. Amen. There's not, a, there's not enough t-shirts. There's not enough bumper stickers. It's just not. Yeah. Amen. And so we're Thank just so you, glad Jesus. that we have a chance to just acknowledge her on this morning and just for her works, yeah. speaking for her in the earth, amen. And just, yeah. you know, just, I'm just going to say this, amen, and we'll, we'll move on. And, um, there are many that are rising up in the earth. We have people that are rising up. I mean, people are being called, you know, called to mm -hmm. preach, called to prophesy, called to do this, called to do that. And they're not connected to nothing. And we want to be uh -huh. very careful. You ought to have some kind of a connection. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I'm here to appeal to you on today that, that God does not birth lone rangers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. God doesn't birth lone rangers. There's a, a sonship mm -hmm. that happens. Amen. It's, it, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, you, you hear those who talk about our overseer. Amen. And they, some of them would look to her like a mother. Amen. Some of them would look at mm -hmm. her and, it, as a mother because she yes. had this spiritual mom thing about her. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Saved and, and they come. There ought to be someone that they can look mm -hmm. to in the gospel. There ought to be. Yeah. Uh, somebody that has been saved long enough that can teach them that just because you just got saved, the gospel didn't mm -hmm. start right there. Amen. There ought to be somebody to help them to understand what it is that they've yeah, signed up for. Right. Amen. So we just thank God. Uh, and I wanted to just share that because you have some in, in it and they're just wondering. Amen. So we're here to let you know that don't, don't wonder forever. Amen. Begin to, to, to ask God to give you the home, you know, a home where somebody's going to love on you. Amen. A home where somebody is going to acknowledge that, that God's love for you is never failing. Amen. So we just thank God for that portion of the service. Amen. And um, we know we go into our announcements on this morning and we thank God for our young people and um, our sister Angel, um, I believe is on the line is going to help us with the announcements on this morning. Sister Angel, are you there this morning? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. Okay. Happy Sunday, Faith Temple family and friends. Happy Sunday and happy holidays as well. Bless the Lord. Join us today as we worship the Lord in his beauty of holiness. Today's message, message is he was there all the time. Sunday school is at 10 a.m. Subject called to be Emmanuel Matthew, 118 to 25. All are welcome. Teacher Deacon Al Nelson presiding. Men's fellowship was a success. Don't miss it next month, January 9th. Invite a male you have in your life. The homeless outreach on Sunday, December 27th will be in North Penn Station at 3 p.m. $10 on Angel, Angel, Angel. Yes? I think you might be, and this is my fault, of course, but I think you might be reading. Um, I think you might be reading. I'm going to take over from here. I think I might have given you. Maybe I gave you the wrong thing. Let me just, where did you stop it? You stopped at North, North Penn Station? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, you're right. You're right. Y'all forgive me. Go ahead. Keep on reading. Ten dollars will sponsor one homeless person's care bag. Give to the poor and never go lacking. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 28, 7, 7 through 27. 
He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Mm -hmm. uh, friendly, friendly reminder that we fast Tuesdays as a body of Christ. Join us as we seek the Lord in prayer and fasting to get closer to the Father. We are praying and speaking healing over the sick and shut in and for Faith Temple to be in the will of God at all times. Join us for noonday prayer at 12 p.m. every Friday, which Sister Barbara is leading us to the throne of grace, interceding for the church. Any volunteers for this ministry, contact Pastor Tenna to help. New Believers Zoom at 7.30 each Friday. We are studying the book by Kenneth Hagen, Why Tongues? All are welcome. Thank you for helping in the homeless outreach. God blessed us in our first men's fellowship yesterday, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on Zoom. Sat to, sat to, uh, Saturday, invite a man in your life each second Saturday to fellowship with our men in the water, in the ward. Our Deacon Gifford is in charge. Lastly, we will have our Zoom for our children on December 19th. Amen. Amen. I gave her too many. I gave her too many announcements. Y'all forgive me. Amen. <laughs> so we just thank God. We just thank God. We're trying to stay. We're trying to stay active. Amen. So that you know each portion of the church will have something to participate in. Um, if you can't make everything, don't feel bad. Amen. Because it's not about that. Amen. But it's just having something. We want to make sure we have something for you to participate in. And um, we thank God for our men's fellowship yesterday. And um, there, were no women, there were no women allowed, but I was in the house. So I was listening. Amen. So we just Hallelujah. thank God <laughs> for being able to listen in <laughs> and um, to see how the Lord really blessed. And, you know, we had some, you know, men of different um different you know ages coming in and it was just wonderful you know it was just wonderful so we just thank god and it's the start of something you know the start of something wonderful so we want to um, just you know think about it it'll be the second saturday of every month at one o'clock so if you have a, a man in your life um just be sure to let them know about it you know, send them the uh -huh. link, let them know, you know, what it is. And when they get on there, they'll, you know, God will, God will do the work. Amen. So we just thank God. Amen. We thank God for that. And for our Deacon Gifford, amen, stepping up, having amen. some courage to do it. Amen. So we just amen. thank God. Amen. Amen. And, um, and our, our children's Zoom on the 19th, please, ma'am, please, sir, have the children at the computer, have them at the cell phone. We just want to say hi. All we'll be doing is just fellowshipping with them for a little while. Uh, we haven't seen their faces in a long time because of safety. So if you have young people, um, I know they're Zooming for school. So if they're Zooming for school, they can Zoom for church. Amen. And have them, have them come on the 19th at, at uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, we'll, we'll have, you know, have something for them. We'll do a little Bible story with them and make sure that they are also getting the word of God and, uh, you know, some worship. Amen. So have the, have keep that in mind. Any questions about that, please see me. Amen. And we're going we're gonna to move right along. Um, and we just thank God. We thank God for just a line by line Bible study this week and the blessing um, that that was. And um, let us not forget. And Angel may have read this. She just read so many different things. Let us not forget about um, the December birthdays. We still have quite a few. Amen. So let us not forget um, on the 18th. You know, we have our sister Nelson's birthday coming and we're trying to do something special for her. So if anyone wants to donate to that, please see me. Amen. We're going to get something together for her. She is um, our president. Amen. And she just gives and gives and gives and gives to us all. Amen. So we want to make sure that um, we see about her. And then we also have, you know, two other birthdays that we'll talk about as we get closer into the month. Amen. So we just thank God. Amen. And um, we're going to keep on going. Amen. And um Turn, get, get your Bibles Hallelujah. out, amen. Get your Bibles out, amen. God gave me mm -hmm. something this morning. Um, he was there all the time. Yeah. He was mm -hmm. there all the time. He gave that to me strong this morning, amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into that, amen. And um, turn to, um, I have some scripture this morning, amen. So turn to mm -hmm. Ephesians 1, 1 through 4. So Ephesians, the uh, first, first, first chapter, verses 1 through 4. Um, Exodus 3 and Jeremiah 1. And I may, you know, touch on some other scriptures, but those are going to be the main ones that I'm going to be in today. Amen. I'm going to repeat them for you. Ephesians, the book of Ephesians is uh, past Acts. Keep going to your right. 
It's in the New Testament, uh, Ephesians 1, uh, 1 to 4, Exodus 3. I'm going to start around the 12th or 13th verse in Exodus as God leads. And then Jeremiah 1, and I'm going to start at that fourth verse in Jeremiah. Amen. Um, as you're finding it, amen, we just, we thank God for the word of God, and we know that all of the service is important, but some come mm -hmm. to hear what God has to say as well, amen, so we want to just bring our hearts and minds in, I'm going to just say a quick prayer, Father, we just thank you. God, we thank you because the word of God is your word. Father, we thank you because it's blessed already. God, we ask that you just bring forth your word, Lord God, for our understanding. Give us clarity in it, God. Father, that we walk away with a closer relationship with you through your word. Father, we just thank you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. It's 1130, yeah. amen. I'm gonna try to watch my time. Amen. So we just thank God. Um, anybody ever heard that song, Lead Me to the Rock? Anybody ever uh, hear that? Hide and I. Yeah, that's Hide and I. Not that one. It is, it is oh, another okay. song. Amen. I'm, I'm going to sing just a verse of it, I promise, and we're going to get right into the word. Um, Lead me to that rock so high, so high, I can't get over it. Lead me to that rock so low. No, Lord. I can't yes, get Lord. under it. Lead me to that rock. So Lord. high, so high, Lord. I can't get over Lord. it. God Lord. said, you must come in at the door. It's an old one. He's my rock, my sword and shield. He's the wheel in the middle of the way. Make no difference what the world may say. I'm going down on my knees and pray. God said, you must come in at the door. That's All old, right, isn't yeah. it? Amen. I got yes, raised by some old yes, it is. Amen. It's some old folk. <laughs> yes, <Amen>. God. <laughs> Lead me to that rock. <laughs> Amen. Right. So we're going to be Thank talking. Deacon Judd knew right where I was at. Amen. Deacon Judd said, yes, yeah. take the B, take the C. Amen. He knew That's where I was. Right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Lead me to Amen. that rock. Amen. So Hallelujah. I can't get over it. God Amen. said you must come in at the door. At the door. Amen. So we thank God. Um, I get, I'm so glad I got raised by some older folk. Amen. Because they put some good stuff in me. Amen. Amen. So Ephesians, um, Ephesians 1. Amen. And, and God was saying to me, he was here all the time. And, you know, sometimes you'll hear people's testimonies, amen. They say, oh, well, when Jesus came into my life or, you know, when, when I found, when God found me or, you know, and, and they, they're talking and I'm saying to myself, God was here all the time. Amen. You know, he was here all the time. Amen. So we're going to get into this. You might have just decided. Amen. You might have just made the decision, the choice that you wanted to follow him. But God has been here all the time. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Ephesians, Amen. Ephesians 1, 1 through 4, it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's just greeting them. Paul's just greeting everybody, amen. And he said, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So they were gathering together somewhere, amen. They were in heavenly places. He says, according Hallelujah. as he have chosen us. Now listen to this in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love mm. Thank you, Jesus. before the foundation of the world god already had us in mind he was already thinking about your gifts and and and, and you know just how beautiful your face was going to be praise god god before the foundation of the world God had already chosen us. And guess what? Not only did he choose you to just come into the world, but he chose you that you should be holy. Mm -hmm. And without blame before him in love. God's plans for you for, were for you to be in him. Amen. See, see, sometimes we think, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, that might be for you 
but that that that's not the way that I'm choosing. You know, I've heard people say, you know, I, I believe in God, but this, you know, this Jesus thing that y'all talking about, I'm I'm not sure if I quite ascribe to that. I've heard people say that, amen. So I'm here to let you know that God, who is the God of the universe, mm -hmm. he said that before the foundation of the world, that we, you see the plural there, we should be holy and without blame before him and love. God had us all in mind before the beginning of the world, amen. He pre-exists all of this, these thought patterns, amen. God pre-exists all these other things, amen. And, and we have to know that, amen, that God was before it all. Amen. So we just thank We just thank God because we know that God is um He's over everything. Amen. I'm gonna ask you to mute, Amen. If you if you have a lot of noise going on, please mute, Amen. So we just thank God, Amen, that, that God was here all the time. So Exodus, we go and we say, Oh, well, well, when exactly did he get here? When did God enter? You ever hear anybody ask you that? When did God get created? Amen. So we get into Exodus 3, Amen. And it says, and Moses said unto God, behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, the God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, what is his name? What shall mm -hmm. I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am. He said, I am that I am, amen. I am that I am. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. So he began to, to let them know that it was, it was, it's me that's sending and my name is I am. God was just was giving them the uh, authority. He was letting them know, you can tell them who sent you and let them know that it was me. It was me, the God of your fathers, the God of the universe, the God that was before everything, amen. So Genesis 1, amen, it says, in the beginning, this is Genesis 1 and 1, I know y'all know this, amen, in the beginning, God, God created the heaven and the earth. You notice it doesn't say in the beginning people. It doesn't say in the beginning church, in the beginning the tabernacle, but it says in the beginning, God. He created the heaven and the earth. He was here all the time. It says, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So look at that, amen. Not only was God here, amen. See, we know that there's, there's the Godhead, amen, the God body, amen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. So from the beginning, amen, he was here. And the spirit of the Lord was here right with him, amen. It's important for us to know, amen, that, that, that God is not a new concept, amen. God is not, not something that, that, that just came about, amen. God is not something that when you were uh, in your childhood, amen, that, that he didn't know that you exist, amen. God has been here all the time. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. So we're going over to Jeremiah, amen. Jeremiah 1, 4 through 7. Amen. Some will say, oh, well, you know, I went through so much in my childhood. You know, I went through so much. God could not have been there. Oh, I just went through so much in my marriage. God could not have been there. You know, uh, uh, they just ridiculed me. And, you know, if God was around, you know, why was there this? And why was there slavery? And why was there this and that? Amen. I'm here to tell you that God was here all the time. He, he didn't just appear, amen. So Jeremiah 1, 4 through 7 says, then the, this is fourth verse. It says, then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, this is Jeremiah. He said, before I, God said, before I formed thee in the belly, I, before I came into the, to the earth, I knew you, amen. God knew, amen. He knew us. We know that God is no respective person, amen. He said that forth out of the womb, I sanctifieth thee. You notice that there's an ED there. There's an ED there because sanctification is a ongoing process, amen. It's an ongoing process, amen. God was sanctifying them and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Look yeah. at that. Amen. He ordained them while they was in the womb, y'all. 
Some is thinking that God just showed up, amen, before he even formed you, before your DNA became full, amen. God already had a plan for your life. Thank See, some, some get lost, amen, and they say, oh, well, you know, what is my, what is my focus in the world? What am I supposed to be doing? And, and, and I don't know what I'm here for. What is my purpose? They got all kinds of seminars going on that's releasing your, your purpose and your destiny. I'm here to tell you that God already has that planned out, amen. You begin to push forward into the Father, amen. And then you start looking at other scriptures, amen. He said that I had a plan for you before the beginning of the world, amen. That God already knew what he had for you to do, amen. Yeah. You might be oblivious to it. You might not have known. The, re the revelation of it may not have come to yeah, you yet, but day. God has get been here all the time god has always been here amen he says uh six says then said i ah lord god behold i cannot speak for i am a child mm -hmm. but the lord said unto me say not i am a child for thou shalt go to all that i shall send thee and whatsoever i command thee thou shalt speak so Jeremiah was letting us know here that even the children God has chosen, amen. Even the children, amen. Even the children, God has a plan for their life, amen. All, God has a plan. God has been here all the time. Amen. So some of us will look, amen, and they're, they're looking, they just say, but, but, but this happened to me. You know, all these, these terrible things throughout my childhood, you know, they, they happened to me. And, and I don't understand why, why God would allow these things to happen to me. I'm, God has a plan, amen. Some of those things yeah. that happened, the enemy might have got involved and God allowed it. And God will get the glory out of it in the end, amen. So yeah. while those things were happening, amen, God was in the, in the area, amen. But somebody in the human form may not have been protecting you, amen. But God was here all the time. God was yeah. here and God was here to see fit that in the latter days, amen, that the things that happened, amen, that the goodness of God will come out of them, amen. So now mm -hmm. you got a testimony, amen, and God will be able to use those things, amen. God will be able yeah. to say, you know, even though these things happen and you feel like you're spotted from the world, I have a yeah. plan for you. And I'm going to yes. use you to go on to the nations, amen. I'm going to use mm. you to tell somebody else about it, amen. I'm going to use yes. you for my purpose yes. and my glory, amen. See, yes. God yes. knew all about it, amen. Some will say, yes. oh, my, my, my parents left me, amen. They abandoned me, and I don't understand how they can be a God, amen. Oh, this thing and that thing happened to me. I'm here to tell you that God said, lo, I will be with you always. always. God oh. is yes. always there. Amen. Oh, there's I one scripture. That. Amen. He said that when my father and my mother mm -hmm. forsake me, the Lord yes. will take me up. God was there all the time. I he's there that. yesterday. Amen. He's going to yes. be there tomorrow. And he's going to be there to the ends of the earth. Amen. I God is that. always there. Amen. And he has a plan. Amen. And God's plans for you are always mm -hmm. good. They're always good and never yes. evil, amen. See, we have an adversary that's in the earth, amen. amen. And he was he was cast down, amen. If you was here with yes. us a couple of weeks ago, amen. He was cast mm -hmm. down. Oh, there was a war that was going on in, in the heavens, amen. And God yes. dispelled him from the heavens and sent him down to the earth, amen. So that old yes. enemy, sometimes he'll get in the way, amen. And God's plans will just keep on moving. It'll just keep on moving, amen. He'll, he'll try to distract you, amen. Situations will occur, amen. But God mm -hmm. never forgot about you, amen. God never forgot. I want you to just mm -hmm. say in your heart, he never forgot about me. He never forgot about me. Even when you were a child, amen. See, some of us were young, just like Jeremiah, amen. And God was talking to us even then. And we didn't understand, amen. We started hearing things, amen. I know of a child right now. I won't call her out, amen. But there's a child right now in our midst, amen. And every once in a while, she'll speak a thing. And it's God coming through her mouth, amen. That's not new. Mm -hmm. Because God will talk to the children, amen. God was there yeah. when they were in the womb, amen. When you thought All you right. were making a decision, sometimes parents think that they're doing parental planning, amen. I'm here to tell you, you can plan all you want to plan. But if God doesn't ordain it, they can't come into the earth. See, some of yeah. us are walking around feeling like, oh, I'm a mistake. 
this happened and this is how I was born. I came into the earth because my parents wasn't together. I'm a bastard child. I'm here to tell you that the world might tell you that you're a mistake, but God had you planned all the time. Yes, See, it's God sir. that had Rahab. Was a, yes. him, she was a whore, amen. And he had her in the lineage of David, amen. God mm -hmm. was the one that decided that no matter who you are, if you call on my son's name, I accept you. God takes you under his wing, amen. amen. He amen. takes you under his wing and he will use you like never before. It is God that is saying that I called you. I amen. see you. I know you. God was there all the time. He was yeah. there. So you you thinking that, oh, I, I, I found I found Christ. <laughs> no, God had already planned you out, baby. God oh. already knew who you was, amen. God mm. already had those that you met, amen. Those that walked you to the Lord, amen. Don't be looking at them like they, they, they so special, amen, because they were just a part of the plan. All they did was answer to the voice of God. God told them to go down to such and such a street and stay right there because he knew he was sending you. And God had a plan that you was going to come into salvation. Amen. That's how yeah. intricate God is. Amen. That's mm -hmm. how intricate he is. Some is saying, well, prove that to me. Amen. I, I, I know Paul. Amen. Paul was in the scriptures. Amen. And Paul was on his way to destroy yeah. the church. Amen. But God had plans in mind for Paul. Amen. See, amen. even when Paul was young, amen, God was already preparing Paul. God yeah. had him up yeah. under Gamaliel. Amen. And he was teaching him the law. Amen. Even though Paul had some, some, some misconceptions. Amen. He had some yeah. error going on. God knew all the time that he was going to use him. Amen. So God allowed him to go to a certain point. But then God, what did he do? Amen. God spoke to Ananias. Amen. And he told him where he needed to be. Amen. Because there's one mm -hmm. that's coming. Amen. And he's going to be a voice unto the Gentiles. God had a plan for Paul. God is not respect of persons. God has a plan for you, amen. Those of you that yeah. are walking around and you're feeling like you're walking around aimlessly. I'm not sure what I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be doing. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. I'm here to tell you that you need to call on the name of Jesus and come yeah. a little closer. Come a little closer to the fire, amen. Thank and let God. God reveal himself to you. Amen. It was Moses, amen. And Moses, Moses was standing and the bush began to burn, amen. And God told him to do what? Mm. Take off your shoes. Moses, Moses, take off your shoes. Yes. You're on the holy yes. ground. God had a plan oh, yeah. for him. When Moses yes, was yeah. in the midst of all of the killing, amen, Moses' yeah. mother took him and put him into a, 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 a barrel, amen, right? He was inside of that shit of wood, amen, because she knew it was going to float. God had a plan mm -hmm. even for him then, amen. God knew what he was going to do with Moses. You are no different than Moses. God was there for you all the time. Some of you are saying, yeah. you, you, Pastor, you just don't know what I've been through. You just don't know what I've seen. You don't understand what I've gone through. God was there while you were going through it. God was amen. there for you. God was there for you when you was watching things going all around you. Amen. Remember, he said that when, when your father and your mother forsake you. See, some of us didn't have a good set of parents. Amen. Everybody uh -huh. didn't have an overseer. Amen. Everybody didn't have a Shirley Smith. Amen. Everybody didn't have uh -huh. what you have. Amen. Some people had mothers that was drinkers. Amen. Somebody know what uh -huh. I'm talking about. Amen. Some of us had now. mothers that was getting high. Amen. Some of yeah. us had fathers that just didn't come home, amen. Some of us yeah. had fathers that was all out in the world. But God yeah. said yeah. that when your father and your mother forsake you, he said, oh. I will take oh. you home. Because yeah. it was God you, that Jesus. planned you out, amen. It was God that loved you from the beginning. Yeah. He said, yeah. your amen. unfailing love, no matter what you've been yeah. through, no matter how you've been through it, no matter how heavy it seemed, amen, God was there all the time. God yeah, has never forgotten about you. Yeah, he never God. forgot about you. Amen. Then, then, then I got this last closing thing. Amen. Because there's some people that say, well, that's your God. That's not my God. <laughs> there's some people that are saying that, you know what? I guess I'm just going. I've heard people say this. I guess I'm just going to hell then because I don't believe how you believe. You can think about me any way you want. 
That's how bold they get. Amen. So I got a scripture for them too. Amen. Psalms 139 and 8 says, if I ascend up into All heaven. Right. Now, All then, right now. If I make my bed in hell. Yeah. Behold, yeah. thou art there. If I take up the wings of the morning and I dwell oh, in God. uttermost parts of the sea, thou art there. God yeah, is God. everywhere, amen. So I'm encouraging you, amen, that if you have not accepted Jesus as your personal Thank Savior, because he's the only way to God, amen. We're trying to get to amen. God, amen. We want to get to the Father, amen. The only way yes. to the Father is to come through Jesus. He says that, 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 that I came, that, that you might have life abundantly. No man cometh to the Father but through me. Amen. That was Jesus' words, amen. Read read the red, yeah. amen, and get the power, amen. Yeah. He said, you, no Jesus. man come to the Father. We're trying to get to the Father. It was the Father that knew you in the womb, amen. It was the Father that knew you when you were going through in your childhood, amen. It was the Father that was there when they molested you, amen. It was the Father that was watching all the time. And he said, just hold on, baby. I'm going to be here when you come out of all of it. I'm going to be here, and the glory of the Lord is going to be all around you. Just go through, and I'm going to be here to glorify you. Amen. It's God that was there. Amen. He was there all the time. All the time. Oh, some are like, oh, well, you just don't know how heavy mine was. I'm going to tell you that each individual person has baggage. Amen. We've mm -hmm. all been through something, amen. Amen. and one amen. person is no heavier than the other. You know what? Yours amen. is just as heavy as God will allow for you to have. Yes. God, yes. Will, yes. God will Thank not you. give you something that you can't bear. If he brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it, amen. Oh, and amen. as he takes you through it, amen, just remember that Thank the you, Old Jesus. Testament was, was, was our schoolmaster, amen. And the Old Testament, it, it, it was Jesus concealed, amen. Jesus was walking around all in the Old Testament, amen. Mm. Some, some people just want to talk about the New Testament, amen. But I remember when they was in the fire, and they say, I see a fourth one. And he's walking around uh -huh. in the fire with them. And they're loose. Jesus was there then, amen. And yes. you can take it amen. all the way to the beginning, amen. When he said, let us make man yes. in our image, amen. Jesus has been yes. there concealed all the time. Oh, we are yes. here to reveal him to you, yes. amen. And we're revealing him to you in the New Testament. And the only thing that he came to do is to bring you to the Father, amen. So salvation amen. comes through Jesus. And once you take on salvation, he's amen. trying to get you to hit the Father, amen. It's the amen. Father. You think about the prodigal, amen. It was the Father that was standing there, amen. It was the Father. It wasn't the brother. Where was the brother at, amen? The Father was standing there, amen. Yeah. And the Father was standing yeah. there, and he said, somebody do what? Put a ring, the ring and the robe, the amen. Yeah. Somebody go ring. get our son. Amen. A ring and a yes. robe, amen. He's looking for you. I'm here to talk yes. to those, amen. There's, there's some that are, are straddling the fence, amen. Some of you have not quite decided to submit yes. unto the Lord. See, you're lingering mm -hmm. around, amen, and you're flirting with the presence of God. I'm here to tell you that God is looking for you to consummate this marriage, amen. He's saying, come yes. unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy yes. laden. Amen. I will give you rest. Bring yes. your weary you, soul Jesus. unto me. Let me correct yes. the things that have been done unto you. Amen. Let me yes. heal up the wounds that's on the inside. God yes. is saying, Thank come you, unto Jesus. me. Come unto me. Oh, Thank don't you, worry Lord. about what they did to you. I don't care if it happened in a church. Amen. There's 7 billion people on the earth. Don't let those yes. couple of people that you came in contact with turn you away mm -hmm. from God. There's always yes. going to be a corrupt pack. Amen. There's always yeah, going to be an evil crew. But God mm -hmm. hasn't made us all evil. Amen. Some of us amen. are here to love you. Amen. There's some hands yes, that are you, open Jesus. wide. Amen. Some of us have been taught. Amen. How to love on you. And God is saying, yeah, come on to Lord. us. Amen. Come on to us. Some are saying, oh, well, thank I don't you, have Jesus. to go to a church. I can just go directly to God. Well, I'm here to yeah. tell you, God will accept you right there at home, but you better not stay there. You better not stay there. You better get logged in, plugged in, because God, Christ came for the family of God. That's what yeah. he came for. He came for the church. The church yeah. is a collective people of God that came together. Yeah. If you look at the inauguration of the church, amen. If you look at Acts 1, amen, it wasn't just mm -hmm. one lonely soul. 
No it was way. a whole body of Christ. We Amen. fit together jointly. Amen. God yes. has us to Thank come you. together. Amen. You got to find your tribe. Amen. You might not be yes. where you belong. Amen. But there's a tribe that you belong to. There's somewhere yes. that when you begin to speak, they're going to speak your language. Amen. There's a, uh -huh. there's a group of people that God has assigned you to. And when you get yes. there, ain't nobody going to be able to push you out. Amen. No matter Amen. how, Amen. what comes high water. Amen. Ain't nothing yes. going to move you because you're going to know Thank that you, the Jesus. love of God is there for you. And that the things yes. that God has on the inside of you, that you can fully yes. walk those things out. Amen. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you. Amen. All are not going to come on the faith temple. I'm aware of that. Amen. But Thank some, you, you need to make sure God that you're good. seeking God for where he will yes. have for you yes. to be. Because I'm amen. here to love on you. Amen. But if you're not called to me, you, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you anyway. <laughs> Because God has a, a certain <laughs> amount of shepherds, and those shepherds, yes. under shepherds, are assigned to a flock, amen. So if you're a part amen. of the flock, come on in, come on in. But if come you're on. not, amen, you can linger around until you figure out where you're going. We all right amen. with that, amen. We all right Thank with you. that. You can linger yes, around God. and get some food while you're here, amen. Yes, linger Lord. around amen. and let us love on you, amen. Linger yes. around Thank you, and Jesus. cry all you need to cry. Get some healing yes. while you're here, amen. Let yes, the Father Lord. love on you. Oh, hallelujah, yes. Jesus. See, Thank God you, Jesus. has, he, he, he was always there. You might have felt like, oh, when God came into my life, he was always there. God was always there. Amen. And we want to we want to share that with, with our children. Amen. We want to share that with those that are in the jails. Amen. You want to share that with those that are downtrodden and cast away. Amen. God has always been there for you. And when they say, well, well, why did this happen to me? You let them know conception cannot happen without supernatural intervention. You know how many people are out there trying to have babies and kids? Yes. You are not a mistake. There's people out there and they freezing eggs and, and, and doing all types of stuff. Amen. Until yes. God decides. Oh, yeah, I'll let that one in. You can't get into the earth until God decides anyway. Amen. You can look at science Amen. and think that science has it all figured out. Mm -hmm. But until God decides, you can't come in. So if you are here, there's purpose for you. If you're here, Amen. God's not done with you. If you still have breath in your body, he's Thank not done with you. Because he was here for you all the time. Yeah. He was here. And God's plans for you are good. Amen. So I hope you got something out of the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you got something out of the word. Hallelujah. God was here Hallelujah. all the time. All Thank the you, time. God. No matter what stage of life you're in. Some Thanks of you might be young. Said. Some of you might be old. He said he called the young, right? Because they're strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of you that are old, you might feel like, oh, well, my time is over. Guess what? It's not. He said, I called you because you know the way. You know the way. God is Hallelujah. looking for the young. He's looking for the old. Guess what? Those babies, amen. King Josiah amen. was eight years old, amen. God amen. is looking for you, amen. God, my husband said on, on Thursday, Dick and Gifford said, God have need of you. God have amen. need of you. He wants all the way down to the babies, amen. From, yeah, from our, you, I think Jesus. our youngest right now, amen, our youngest might be three years old, Janisha, amen. I think she might be our youngest, amen. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. And, and, and she's our youngest, amen. And we, God wants her, amen. God amen. wants her. Deacon Judd is out there, amen. De Deacon Judd, he, he told me that he might be about 85 or 86 years old, amen. God yeah, has God, need yeah. of him, amen. God amen. has need of him, and he has not forsaken him, amen. Those from, 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 from zero to 120, amen. God has need of you, amen. God has something for you. And he has a house that is welcoming you, amen. This house is welcoming you, amen. But there's houses that are welcoming you, and you want to make sure you're right where God will have for you to be, amen. So we just thank amen. God. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, we just thank God yes. because God was here all the time. So we're just going to close out in a prayer. Amen. And we're praying for those. Amen. And we're right now we're in 21 days of prayer. Amen. Six o'clock in the morning. Amen. Amen. And God, and that's why y'all might be like, why is she so excited? Because that prayer that's not up under me. Amen. That, that, I, I can't let it go if I want to. Amen. Hallelujah. That prayer Hallelujah. That got up under me. 
and, and, and God is saying to close out with a prayer, amen. There, there may be somebody that's on the line, amen, that, that you, you once were in Christ, amen. Mm -hmm. and, and don't believe that doctrine. It's a doctrine once saved, always saved. I, I have not read that in the Bible, amen. I, I read in the Bible, amen, that when you accept Jesus Christ, amen, that behold, all things become new. Behold, the change begins to come. But when we take up old things, amen, we begin to believe that we're no longer with the Father. So mm -hmm. we're here to tell you that God will all ex always accept your forgive me. He will always take it, amen. God will never write you off. So mm -hmm. if you backslidden, amen, and you find yourself a little ways from the gospel, amen, we're going to pray with you this morning, amen. There might be some yeah. on the line that have never come into Christ before, amen. And, and, and if you're on here, I don't want you to feel like it's a hard thing because all you have to do is say, Lord, I want you. And he's right there for you, amen. And there might be some of us that have gotten a little dirty, amen. Some of us that are in Jesus and you done picked up some old things, amen. I'm here to tell you that you got to stay clean, amen. So we're going to get amen. into some prayer, amen, so that you can, yeah, you can pray you, whatever you. it is that you need for the Lord in your heart, amen. Father, we just thank you on today, God. Father, we thank you for the word of God. Father, those that you have on the line, those that are listening in, God. Father, those that are straggling, God. Father, those that think that this is a hard way, God. Father, you said that my yoke is easy and my burdens are light, God. Father, we thank you for accepting them, oh God. Father, we thank you for accepting them, forgive me on today, God. Father, those of us, God, that are now walking in righteousness, Father, clean us up, oh God. Father, created us a clean heart, Lord Jesus. Father, wash us with hyssop, God. Father, make us clean and whiter than snow, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, Father, those that just don't know you at all, Lord Jesus. Father, we just plead for the lost, Lord, today, God. We plead for the lost, Lord, God. Father, those that have been hurt and wounded, Lord Jesus. Father, I declare from this day forward that the wounds begin to heal up. Father, we thank you because you are a healer of the brokenhearted, God. Thank you for healing the wounds, Lord God. Thank you for healing it up, Lord Jesus. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. Father, those from all walks on today, God. Father, anyone that's on the line, Lord God, that has been wounded, that has been hurt, that needs forgiveness. Father, that's coming towards you on today, God. Father, we just offer it up in intercessory, oh God. We stand in the gap for them, Lord Jesus. Father, as they're crying out unto you, you, God. Father, we thank you that you said you are a forgiving God, that mercy yeah. endureth forever. Some preachers try to take it out of that scripture, but it's there. God, you said that your mercy endureth forever. Yeah, Father, you. we thank you, Lord God, that your mercy just keeps enduring, God. Father, we thank you that your grace abounds the more. And Father, we just thank you, Lord. Hi, our son, that are both. We just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for all that are that are on the line. Oh, hi, our son, that are both. Thank you, Jesus. All that are on the line on today. And just God loves you on today. He loves you. Those of you that feel like uh, uh, you can't be loved, God loves you. Those of you who have, have been through things, amen, and you just feel like God can't love me or I wouldn't be going through this, God loves you. God loves you. He's saying that I was there. I was there, and I'm still here now. I never left you. I'm here, and I'm making you. And I want you to know that I love you. God's love is here for you, amen. So I just thank God for all of you, amen. And, amen, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna linger for a little while, amen. And um, we know that you have families, amen. And, and those of you that need to log off, go ahead and log off, amen. But I'm going to linger for a little while. And um, anyone who, you know, wants to, to talk about it, amen. Anybody who, who, who uh, uh, needs to talk about coming back to the Lord or any of you that, that need a special prayer, you can just stay right on the line, amen. Because I feel the spirit leading me to do that, amen. Um, so those of you who want to log off, y'all have a wonderful day. Amen. I love you all. Amen. amen. And just know that God loves you. But th those of you, amen, those of you they just need a little extra time amen you can linger and i'm just gonna linger until the last person clicks off amen hallelujah jesus 
I love you. And y'all have a, have a wonderful day, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If there be one, amen. If there's anybody that needs to say anything, amen, unmute yourself. Anybody that needs special prayer on today, amen. God is saying that I'm here. I've always been here. If there's anybody that feels like they need deliverance on today, the line is open for you on today. If you're on mute and you need to unmute, you might have to hit star six, amen. And, you know, if you need to come on, just, just whatever it is that God is saying, amen. Anybody needs prayer. It's open, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus.